<laughs> Friends, Whovians, my fellow geeks, it finally happened. The day has finally arrived where I did watch Doctor Who as comic relief with Rowan Atkinson and lots of other actors. Yes. So hello guys, welcome, or if you've already seen my channel before, welcome back. I'm the Philadelphia Whovian. And with this video, it's a long-awaited thing. I should have done a long time ago. And I went onto YouTube, looked up Rowan Atkinson as comic relief, found it, and watched it. I watched Rowan Atkinson play the doctor for a few beautiful minutes. And then, after seeing him play the doctor, he regenerated, yes he did, into, I believe if I got my order of things correctly, Richard E. Grant. Okay, I'll get to that later. So with, oh, oh I'll get to, oh, I'll get to that later. Sorry. Mm. Professional. Philadelphia Whovian. Be professional now. Okay. I've got it. Here we go. So, with Rowan Atkinson as, co as comic relief, or Doctor Who as the comic relief, I believe this is written by Stephen Moffat, and showing how Stephen Moffat is a really good comedic writer in many respects. He has, does have um, an ability to be quite funny and quite entertaining. And with this one, we have Rowan Atkinson as the Doctor, but they have a master, and the master, of course, trying to, you know, kill the Doctor, but the Doctor, he can overhear him as the master is spying on him, and then they go to a place, um, a planet, where people communicate with each other through breaking wind. I assume you all know what breaking wind does mean. And then there is that thing that Moff is known for, the timey-wimey, um, sciency wincey stuff of just simply the doctor and master going back in time to bribe the person or the sheriff or whoever, um, so that they can out, you know, maneuver each other. And while this is going on, the master got some shocking news from the doctor, where the doctor admits, hold on one second, my cat, Zeus, Zeus, do not do it. Do not do it. Hang on for a moment. He's trying to pull something that will knock the whole camera down. Zeus, we've talked about this. You mustn't do things like that. Okay, hang on. Go, floor boy, go! I do love him, but he can be a little bit of a... Um, he can wreck things, and he's broken some of my technology before. Now, back to the video. God, sorry, guys. Okay, here, take two, and scene. So, then the doctor, um, they outmaneuver each other, but while this is going on, the doctor has a companion, and he announces that it is, in fact, his fiance. And the first thing I was struck by was like, hey, is that Lydia Bennett from The Pride and Prejudice with Jennifer Eel and Colin Firth? That is so that Lydia Bennett, the same actress who played Lydia, and, and Horatio Hornblower, plays their doctor's companion slash fiancé in this. And the master is immediately like, what the heck is happening? Like, He's like, I can't bear to even look at this situation. And I'm happy that that, that was a funny bit that Moffat put in there, because I'm like, yeah, if I were the master, I'd be like, doctor, what? <laughs> this is not like you, man really not like you. And then, of course, the master, um, he gets out tricked and he gets forced and down a shaft that lands him into pretty much the sewers of the city where he's going through a lot of disgusting things. It takes him like, I can't remember how many, like 30 something years or whatever, like 300 years, yeah, around 300 years to get out of it again. But he gets dropped into it again where he, now it's like 600 years. But while this is happening, he also got the Daleks to help him. And then it's been like 900 years because the master got dropped down the sewers again. When the co title is Comic Relief, Moffat meant Comic Relief. And then the doctor has to help the Daleks because they have him in a corner and while this is happening he gets you know shot in some sort of way and he falls down and I believe this is where he turned into Richard E. Grant. Correct me if I got that name wrong and Richard E. Grant is the same actor who plays the great intelligence. Now Richard, okay now we're back to Richard. 
Richard. Okay, I'm a... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm focused now. Uh, Rowan Atkinson is a fantastic actor who I find in some ways is quite attractive. Maybe I'm attracted to his talent because he's an amazing actor, or maybe it's because he's got a rockin' body. Either way, I have a wide range of beauty, so I do find Rowan Atkinson to be quite handsome. And then we get Richard, who has a, has a very ironic face. Because with Richard, when he puts his mind to be really scary, he, his whole face is positively terrifying. But when he puts it into his mind to be charming, he is so sexy that he can make a woman who has the coldest vagina, he can make her throb. Okay? I, no more talk like that. I promise, guys. No more talk will be like that. But, oh, God. Okay, I'm done. Then I believe he, um, the doctor dies again and gets changed into Jim Broadbent. I could be wrong. Maybe that's not Jim Broadbent. Correct me again about that. I love good old Broadbent. I'm happy to see him as a doctor for one second. And you, then he transforms to that, I believe, into Hugh Grant. And Hugh Grant was like, you know, very popular at the time. And he has some love, lovable quirks. But seeing all of those four actors play the doctor, and you see four distinct different doctors each time, even though it's for a slight bit, all four of those actors did a complete, genuine, different doctor than the one who was before them. And then, as the comedic relief in the end, the doctor turns into a woman, and a very beautiful, gorgeous woman who the master immediately gets taken with, and who the doctor's previous fiancé says, literally, sorry doctor, but you really are not the man I thought you were. And the master and the new doctor walk away, and by God, that was one really gorgeous, gorgeous woman. And who, in the brief time she played the doctor, I admit, did a very good job playing the doctor. She was very articulate, she had natural charisma, she had no problem, you know, being having a sensuality to her, but she had a distinct and defined character that felt unique unto her. And... If you're going to be a female and you're going to play the doctor, have that type of confidence level and that type of way of being where you literally can give a unique version to what has happened before you. That being said, so all five of these people, you know, different incarnations of the doctor occurred, <laughs> one after the other in a matter of a few minutes. But, oh God, I finally saw it and I did indeed enjoy it. Again, it's meant for comic relief. If you have no funny bone in your body and you're fully politically correct, do not watch Rowan Atkinson as Doctor Who in comic relief. But Rowan Atkinson, while all these actors did a great job playing the Doctor in the brief stint they had, it almost is kind of a bit of a tease. Because, like, hey, we're going to show you, like, five or how many actors it is who play the Doctor in comic relief. Five actors who are amazing at playing the Doctor, and you're never going to see any of them probably ever play the Doctor. Ever again. Rowan Atkinson uh, is just too amazing, I guess, to play the doctor nowadays because he's too good at being genuinely witty, genuinely, you know, articulate and intelligent and having a natural charisma to him. Richard E. Grant, it will not ever be the doctor because he just is too darn amazing at being a man because how dare you have a penis now. And then, you know, you have Jim Broadbent, if, I, like, if I'm wrong about the actor, sorry, not playing the doctor because he, we're now against all old white guys playing the doctor. And then you have, you know, Hugh Grant, it's just never going to be the doctor, but that's, you know, I'm, I'm not against Hugh or anything. I'm just saying, okay, you know, one way or the other, you know, whatever. Um, perfectly fine with Hugh Grant. I don't, you know, he, I'm, he's one of those guys, I'm, okay, you're cool, but, you know, whatever. Um, that's not a good way of putting that. He's one of those actors, he's fine when he's there, and he, it's not, not like, you know, bitter and resentful when he's gone. It's just, he's cool when he's there. Um, and the actress, never gonna play the doctor, she'd be too old now, um, for what they're going for. So it's like, oh wow, watching all these great actors and actress playing the doctor, and we're never gonna see them play the doctor, probably. What a freaking tease! And that's what I will label Rowan Atkinson as the doctor in comic relief. A giant thespian tease. <laughs> this is a very inappropriate video. I'm sorry guys, I mean, um, I should have done something more intelligent than this. Okay, you know what?
We all have our dumb moments. This is my dumb moment. But either way, with Rowan Atkinson as Doctor Who in Comic Relief, I absolutely had a great time. It was glorious. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, sorry for my vulgar speech in this one. What can you do? Just try to love me anyway. Or just forgive me and watch my next video because I'm more articulate and I say more intelligent things there. I'm sorry, maybe it's because Richard E. Grant is still running in my mind, and that man is just so darn sexy. I, I think my mind is affected, darn it, by Richard E. Grant. If his name is Richard E. Grant, I have suck with names. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. Whew. And Rowan Atkinson is just such a genius of an actor. He, he really would have done a good job. If he ever got to play the doctor in a full stint, he would have done a very good job as the doctor. That I'm sticking to in every sense of the word. So guys, have you seen Rowan Atkinson as the Doctor Who in Comic Relief? Um, if you have, I'm sure you can give a much better video than the one I gave. But what can you do? Just try and like me anyway, despite all of this. All of that. Mm -hmm. And I promise my next video shall be more... Not intellectual, I know it's not going to be, but at least it'll be more articulate and therefore hopefully more intelligent sounding at least. Thank you guys so much for watching. And guys, I finally saw Rowan Atkinson as the doctor in comic relief and it was glorious. It was magical. He was perfect as the doctor. Richard was great as the doctor. Jim was great as the doctor. And Hugh was very good as the doctor, very, very good too. And so was the woman whose name I do not know. She was great, I admit. She, I admit. Me. Philadelphia Whovian is admitting she was great as the doctor in the few minutes they each, or a few seconds, they each were the doctor. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon. <gasps> Friends, Whovians, my fellow geeks, I saw Rowan Atkinson as the doctor and it was glorious. Bye guys.